Okay, this is the umbilical cord, which has a two large I didn't have any, I had one there. Okay. Um, liver. Where? I see actually. Okay, I'm sorry. This is the liver. Mm -hmm. So, in the baby, you have oxygenated blood being brought in by the... Is this the skin one, or is this a tissue one? I'm going to say it's tissue. Yeah, umbilical vein. So that's why it's red. Okay. Because it's the oxygenated blood. And as I said, that it takes blood to the heart, right? Mm -hmm. So it's red. This is the umbilical vein. Wing? Wing. Vein. Vein. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then when it goes to the liver, it becomes a round ligament of the liver when the baby grows up. So, on the big liver, as you go ahead, you'll see two ligaments. One is the round ligament, yeah. and the other one and is the, the lecture, right? ligament of cherries. That's on the skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do it okay. by midnight tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow. So, then this umbilical vein goes to the heart, and it performs the same function as it does in you, a normal adult. I didn't do all that but you have the place where the rubber passes, that's your foraminal valve. Which becomes fossa ovalis in adults. So when baby is born and it takes its first breath because of the pressure difference, that wow, all that foramen shuts close. The main aim of this is to avoid blood from going to the right ventricle because the lungs are not double, they cannot clean blood. So the only time you want to send blood to the lungs is to supply nutrients to the blood. I mean, lungs. Okay. So that's why you have a little bit of blood going here, but not a lot. So most of the blood goes in through the foramen valley to the left atrium, goes to the left ventricle, and then goes outside to the body. But you also have the ductus arteriosus between your pulmonary artery and your aorta. The ductus is the blue one? No, it's that white thing that you see here. Okay. That's the ligamentum arteriosum, which is known as the ductus arteriosum in babies. Okay. Because it's just like a form. It takes blood out of the pulmonary arteries and puts it in the aorta. Because again, as I said, the lungs should not be functional, so they need to get rid of as much blood as possible from the vessels that carry blood to the lungs and just direct it towards the body. Okay. Then it goes normally. So, ductus arteriosus becomes your ligamentum arteriosum, and your foramen ovale becomes your fossa ovale. Okay. The ductus venosus, I think it's also on the liver. But this is which the umbilical artery, which is right here, or the vein, which becomes your umbilical. Um, what the name ligaments? Is, but yeah, the ligaments. Because there will be ligaments present when you actually do the dissection of the cadavers. You're going to see like really thin ligaments. But they usually disappear over the course of time. Okay. And that's basically it. I will look into Dr.